today's video I'm going to be showing you how to add a sprinkler head to your irrigation system. Why would I want to do this? Well I have this St. Augustine grass in my yard here that requires a fair amount of water to stay healthy. And as you can see I've got this area over here that has chinch bug damage but also the uh, sprinkler systems that are in, currently in place aren't watering this area of the yard the way I would like it to. So I have a sprinkler head over here that I'm going to tap into. I'm going to run some piping over from that sprinkler head out into that area of the yard so that it you know, waters the yard the way it needs to be watered. So what are you going to need to do this? You're going to need something to cut the pipe with. You're going to need a T to splice into the existing irrigation line. You're going to need pipe to run over to the area where you want the sprinkler head to be. You're going to need an end connection that screws into the bottom of your sprinkler head. You're going to need a sprinkler head, obviously, and you're going to need some PVC cement here. I always use the rain or shine stuff because you can use this in obviously wet locations and that's what you're going to be encountering when you're doing this job here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get all your materials together. Once you've done that, is locate your sprinkler head that you're going to tap into and dig that up. I think mine is right around here somewhere. So I'm going to find it and do that. Then I'll show you how to tap into it. Okay, so once you have your sprinkler head all dug out, the next thing you want to do is make sure you get down as far as possible down to the base of this. Because you want to have room for this to kind of move around and such for you to position that because once you attach that other line um, that's not going to move as around as readily in the ground as this does so get as far down to the bottom of this as you can and just go ahead and cut it with your hacksaw or whatever it is that you're using to cut pretty easy the next thing you want to do is clean all the dirt and everything off of this as much as you can And from there, what I'm going to do is go ahead and start digging out the channel a little bit. All I'm going to do is insert my uh, shovel in there and just kind of move it around back and forth. That way I can just kind of shove down the PVC pipe. And once I get that running and in the ground where I want it, I'll come back and attach this with the glue and everything. As you can see what I'm doing here, what I've done is laid my pipe down to kind of be a guide as to where I'm going to dig. And all I'm doing is sticking the spade of the shovel down in the dirt and just kind of wobbling it back and forth a little bit like that. Just so that I can stick the pipe down in there. I'm not actually worried about digging a trench. It's not really necessary for this. So now that you have your trench dug out, it's pretty easy to just come back around and just stick that pipe down in there. Make sure you stick it in probably at least four or five inches, maybe six inches, as deep as you can get it down in that trench. But like I said, you didn't have to really dig anything out to do that. So do that all along where you've got the pipe, and then go ahead and attach that part over there with the glue that I was talking about. And I'll show you how to do that. So this is a little difficult to see because it's down in there. It's down in the ground. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to show it to you anyways. You want to wipe off as much of the dirt off of this as you can. Make sure you've got a nice straight cut there. Try to get all the dirt out of there. Take your glue, put a little bit on the inside, a little bit here. And once again, this is that rain or shine stuff, so obviously we're working in a wet environment here. That's what you want to be using. And then push this together, it's going to set really quick. So make sure you push it all the way on and hold it there for a moment because it's had a tendency to want to push out on you. So kind of hold it until you feel that it's setting, which it already has. Pretty quick, pretty easy. And then the next step is do the same thing down here. Kind of wipe off as much of the dirt as you can. Put a little bit on the inside of your joint. The inside of the sleeve here. And a little bit down here. Try to get it on there as best you can again. And I know this may seem like I'm not doing the best job possible, but I've done this several times. And I've never had any sort of issue with the pipes coming undone or anything like that. Again, push it on really quickly, hold it in place. 
let it set for a moment. There we go. And do the same thing with the other side that you cut there. And then go ahead and bury everything back down in there. You made a little, little extra dirt since you've relocated some dirt and stuff like that. But that'll do it for this connection here. So you've got this piece all connected. You've got your pipe running around there. You've got your next piece of pipe over here. The next thing you want to do, obviously, is couple these two together using the method that I showed you earlier. And come down here. After that's attached, and put it in the ground, obviously, because you want to make sure you put this at the proper angle. This is where you're going to put your upright for your sprinkler head. And I would actually go ahead and glue that on, attach your sprinkler head before trying to make sure that you get all this all the way down in the ground, because you want to make sure you get it deep enough. So then do that, and the next thing you want to do before covering everything back up with dirt is to check your system, turn it on, make sure you don't have any leaks before you bury everything, and then that's it. Just add a little extra dirt where you dug this up. Just kind of smush this back down and you're good to go. New sprinkler head and hopefully your grass won't start looking like that. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, uh, subscribe, share my videos, uh, all that good stuff. I've got over 100 videos of how to do stuff on my YouTube page. So check it out. Thank you again.